evening and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. When we left off last time, we finished episode one. So let's jump into episode two here. I am the sword in the darkness. I'm the watcher on the wall. Looks like we're going to have us some Jon Snow this time around. Ooh, last episode ended with a bang. Ethan got stabbed in the throat by Ramsay Snow. And this, at the time, I was just so shocked it happened. Like, it didn't really process. And I know that everything's in civil war and everything. I looked a bit up. Ramsay Snow, so he says he's acting on behalf of Roose Bolton. And he was assigned by the Lannisters to be Warden of the North now. So, Ramsay Snow was acting in concert with the people from, well... He's on the side of the people from King's Landing. So, I don't know. More and more, I kind of wish that I'd accepted Tyrion's offer to make a deal and maybe try to protect my house. But I have a feeling this from a telltale being that Ethan was probably going to get stabbed in the throat the either North way. Um, must never be and I'm, I, I think it might... To the wall. If we'd made the deal, the then possibly there could wrong. be greater consequences for Ramsay Snow for doing that. I mean, he just straight up murdered Lord Forrester. Ethan was Lord Forrester, and he just... There was no crime named or anything. He just murdered in front of everybody. I'm just I kind of wish that I'd met him at the gates now because I think he probably would have still murdered me, but then it would have been in front of all my people and that might have, you know, incited my house a little more Are you willing as to it risk is now. Alliance was... with the crown? Yeah, and there's the alliance that I... I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. <sighs> kind of wish I'd done. It is a risk I cannot afford. But I don't know, I almost don't because I know what's going to happen to Joffrey. I know what's going to... I know to an extent what's going to happen to Tyrion. Things are going to get really rough in King's Landing, so I don't know that long term it would be for the best to be allied with the Lannisters. Uh, it might be best to hold on. Oh, yep, there we go. And then he stole Ryan to be his ward. Don't let them take me! I guess on the plus side, at least we we told Malcolm to go get Asher, so Asher's going to be Lord Forrester now. This completely puts us on the side of... I don't remember who's kind of in charge of the Stark house now. There's there's some opposition, but, uh... Oh, no, this seems like Essos. Is this gonna be Asher? Uh. And when we first meet him, he's pissing in a pot? All right. Oh, scorpion. There's no scorpions where I live. And I... They're probably not that terrible to live near, but... Okay, okay, four days, three days after, if I could read, three days after liberation. I, I don't know, I think I'd be terrified to live anywhere there's scorpions. I'd always be afraid that I'd accidentally, like, step on one, or, you know, reach in Whoa, and, and touch one, and then... just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You don't have a proper bathroom in the tavern? If you gotta you go, you stop just... stop pacing. They'll be Step here out soon. into the alleyway and go on a pot, huh? This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. This place could use a good cleaning. I could... Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Ha ha ha. Gross. No, we'll just... Bloodborne illness. No, we're gonna... This is foolish, but we'll try it. It's blood. Blah. <laughs> nice having the place to ourselves, though. Fancy a bit of hookah? Fragrant. She's kind of cool. Look at her. Warrior woman. She's got the scars and everything. She's all, like, dressed for battle. I like her. I like the, the few women in this world that are warriors. I like Daenerys. I like Brienne. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Arya is one of my favorites, although I'm concerned that she's gonna end up being a psycho. Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. Well, let's grab hold of it. Don't you have, like, a proper holster to put it in? Yeah. Instead of just leaving it wedged in the table, that can't be good for the blade. And yet more blood. This Best looks older to the other. <laughs> Look at her. I don't know. What does it matter? She's not worried. Okay. Well, I'm thinking we should talk to her, because whoever we're waiting for is probably going to be in soon. I'm not seeing... Oh. Oh, I almost missed the window, see? It's chaos out there since the master's fled. All right, Beska. 
I know, I know. Woman sellsword. Four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha. Quit staring. Let's get to drinking. <laughs> more and more I like this Beska. Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering oh, we found gross, it in an abandoned but... tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. Does Ale go I off? No. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly I bastards. I guess it could get stale, right? I'm not you much of a drinker, I don't know. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll All drink right. to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. It seems like you probably would too, Best. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Huh? Go see if he's still breathing. Who've we got presumably tied up here? Hmm. Not someone I recognize often. How's he doing? <laughs> we need him alive to collect his bounty. After that. Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog. <laughs> Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Hmm. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men <laughs> in my life, thank you. Well, sir, where's money, hey? They say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines. Best horse. Actually, we'll be Sleep buying passage back home. Fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've not been paid yet, Beska. Can't spend dragons you don't have. We'll have them soon enough. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. Well, except for where you're. I could afford passage from. back to Westeros. To Ironrath. Do I've it. Heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Gotta stop for a second. I hate that sentiment. I hate when they hear when I hear that. People are always like, you can't control the heart. You can't control who you love. Uh, to a degree, yeah, you really can, actually. If you start to, if you find yourself develop, and I'm not saying that I'm putting him in the wrong. I think actually it seems like it probably would have been better if they'd let the relationship continue with the White Hill girl and maybe try and make some sort of peace between the families. But just in general, when people say that, you can't control who you love. And it's used as an excuse for people doing like crappy things to each other. Like maybe someone's already in a relationship, but oh, this other person, I love them. You can't control who, you can, you can. You can feel feelings starting and you can put a stop to it. You can say, this is not a good idea, and you can stop it. If you find that you can't stop it, you can't get this person out of your mind, then you take whatever measures you need to do to get that person out of your life. You can look at things objection objectively. You can look, is it wise, is this person actually someone it would be wise to try and have some sort of relationship with? Could I have a future with this person? And you can have a degree of control over your emotions. You really can. I. It just, it seems like the... Set, it's just an excuse. You can't control who you love. You can control what you choose to do about feelings that you feel developing. You can't. You you have more control than people want to give themselves credit for, and you have a greater responsibility because that responsibility comes with control. You have a responsibility not to hurt other people. So instead of just loving recklessly and causing pain to others, and then using that weak excuse, well, you can't control who you love. Exercise some more self-control. End of my little rant there. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's not that simple. In the north, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the north. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Oh, we gotta stop again. Because this is a thing that I wonder. This, I don't know how well this was addressed in the books. She says, ah, who cares about the north? And I want to say, well, the North is actually really important because there's all the whites and everything and the wall is where it's at. But really, how much does that affect other continents? 
is that an issue in Essos? If he just stays over here, can the White Walkers take over all of Westeros and it doesn't really impact anybody else? Do the White Walkers sail? Would they go across the ocean? I don't remember if the books ever addressed that. Huh. So that's kind of heartless, but that is something like, in theory, all these people could just kind of wait it out on Essos. Let the White Walkers destroy. Well, but... Like, for Daenerys, she wants to be queen of Westeros, and I don't think she wants absolutely everything decimated by the White Walkers. And then, will she have to fight them off, or will they just disappear whenever the winter ends? Either way, she wouldn't be left with much to rule over. So, okay, not the best plan, but it just makes you wonder. Let's make a toast. To what this To time? all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. You I miss not that drunk guy. <laughs> I miss Sorry. the toast. There we go. That was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking lost legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? from the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Oh. Zal, isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throat! Yeah, this isn't sounding good. It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? You want your money, right? Just give him the guy. They're gonna find him anyhow. It's not like he's well hid. Yeah. 400 dragons. Uh, 800. Must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Uh, I caught the guy. I deserve the eight. I guess we'll take the four. Is that still enough to buy passage to Westeros? Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. Blah, 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 whatever. We are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell. And we're done with you, too. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Um, Not bloody likely. What do you mean? The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you well. steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte os in us! Bojos me nomi jahosso kisikas! Just have to make a brief, brief observation. Not really important, but I notice all of them, they say they're the blood of old Valyria. They do have the purple eyes. Nice touch, Telltale. Uh, flip the table. All right, who dies first? Who wants to die at the end of the Kill them now. Um. Oh, well, that was terrible. Let's do that again. Okay, we'll flip the table. I'm okay with that. All right, who dies first? Dodge to the side and kick the chair. I thought we'd try to, like, maybe get one of our weapons out and attack him with that, since they're using... Come on, this is not a hand-to-hand -hand time. Hey. There we go. It's time for blades. She couldn't pass me! Oops, that's not good. Ah. Hey, hey, thanks, Beck. You owe me one. Deal. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Shit. Alright, we 
Can you get him off? Don't kill her. Don't this kill her. Oh, well, let's see that again. Looks like we'll be taking uh, 400 for our captive instead. And uh, pretty much now, after all this, I think we really, really need to run away. Like, going back to Westeros is seeming like a pretty good idea. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. I've been playing too much Skyrim, my first instinct is. Okay, now loot all the bodies, but no, that's not gonna be an option here. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. Eh. If I kill you, maybe they don't know necessarily who killed you. They probably know. Well, let's take the gold and go. Assuming there actually is any gold in there. Um. To Saul! Asha! Oh, hey! How's it going, Malcolm? Nice timing. Why, in all the gods of fire and fault. Just help Beska. Who the fuck is he? I guess My she's uncle. got it under control. That ended well. Well, let's get the golden go, guys. More on their way. Yeah, we grab need the to gold. Go. Come on. Boy, I'm gonna be Malcolm. pissed if there's not actually gold in there. Okay, let's go, guys. Damn. Arr! Have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Figures. Asha, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Asher, this really isn't the time to Your stop and talk. Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Okay. But now that we saw that, I'm feeling yeah, pretty confident. I was kind of hopeful that maybe Ethan wasn't actually dead, but I don't really know how you survive being stabbed in the throat. And now that we have a new POV, I'm thinking, yeah, he's probably dead. But that is kind of cool. I was afraid that it was going to give us, like, just the two, just down to Mira and Garrett. Who are alright, they have interesting stories, but it is really a bummer to, to lose Ethan. It is, because I was actually kind of excited about his story, you know? He's he's the young lord, he's got to earn everybody's respect, everyone's thinking just because he's young that they can kind of trample all over him, or that he's inexperienced, and I was looking forward to, to trying to be decisive and having him grow and get the confidence and become a good lord. A lot like actually Rob Stark's story, like there were all the people that doubted him at first because of his age, and then he started making the right moves and suddenly he's earning the great job respect and everything else. I, I, wanted, I wanted to play that out with Ethan. I thought that was going to be really, really cool. So I appreciate that they killed him, just because that's in keeping with the books that main characters will die, but kind of bummed that I didn't get to play out his story. Like, Mira's story, Mira's story is very tense and it's interesting, but actually I liked the premise of Ethan's part better. Mira's story is basically going to be a lot like playing, or like Sansa's story. And I don't, Sansa's an interesting character. I did not much like her at the beginning. She's growing a lot as it goes, but there's not much she can do. She has to always say other than what she means, because she's in constant danger of just being killed on a whim. It's not as active a story as like Ethan's story would have been. What do we got going on here? Ooh. Wait, is this... Hang on. It might have actually had the words just there to tell me, but I need to look. Is this Roderick? Yeah, he didn't die! This is awesome! Oh, this is, this is really cool. Ugh. 
Oh, and then he sees his... That's his dad. Father. <gasps> well, that's horrible. So it still sucks that Ethan's dead, but hey, this is kind of an awesome turn of enough. events. I come from the twins, I'm the really excited about that. Lord Am I just going to get a whole bunch of them? All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. Who have you got this time? Sir Ryland. Some poor peasant dressed up like a lord. A stable boy in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare to come here claiming to have foreign leave. <laughs> now! Fine! I'll dump them in the river then! You come back here again. Guys, you won't guys, be hold leaving. on. You got that? Oh, oh come I, on. I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, sir. Come on, come on. Seven out. Ooh. That can't be good for him, but... What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there. Who are you? Well, come take a look. It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick. By the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Oh. Yeah, help there. me, guys. Roderick! <sighs> Whew, that was a near thing. I was afraid we were going to make it to the river and I was going to have to try and crawl back through the woods and everything else to get home. Well, I still think it's good we're bringing Asher back. I am a little concerned. I don't know if Roger's going to feel about that. Like, if he's going to... I mean, obviously, we're going to get to make choices for him. But I'm worried that he might be kind of angry. There might be bad blood. We'll see. Calm now. Don't be stubborn, my lord. No, we want to stay alert. Roger, my lady. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please. I want to see my son. Let her... <laughs> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk. Roderick? Ooh. <gasps> oh, he this isn't really a, a you know, oh, handicap accessible sort Brave of always. But the land. Pain must oh, Roderick! <gasps> Roderick! Okay, we should probably let him get back to the surgery. I just figured it was important for her to be able to see him, to say something. If it goes badly, she could at least get in some last words with him. And especially considering she just lost Ethan. So, are we gonna get three entirely new ones? Are we gonna get... Roderick, Asher, and maybe Talia this time? Ryan could be kinda cool to see his story. What's going on with him now that he's all... kidnapped? <laughs> So Roderick's gonna, he'll be the Lord, obviously. And then we're gonna need Asher to back us up, I think. Let's see how our arm looks. Well, it's not backed up. We can't see anything, really. Okay, fingers wiggling. It's a good sign. Wiggle your big toe. No, um... Well, no, does he mean we may never walk as in we're paralyzed, or just as in, like, the leg is really badly broken? Oh. Oh, and now it's backwards. Ethan's the remember. Oh, that's... Before. 
It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I feel oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, easy, easy. You. <laughs> Are you all right? Come here, sister. It's all right. How bad is it? <laughs> Most all Tengren says your leg well, may never fully great. heal. And your face. Face isn't important. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan. Oh boy, here comes the really, really Bruce bad Bolton's news. Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. And it was straight-up murder, there was no crime committed, and we need vengeance. Made Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside... Father. And now Mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Then don't write it. Mother will understand. It's a lot to ask of her at once. I mean, consider all, it's been chaos here all since the, died. the huge emotion she's been through over the last short while. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. Yeah, we're gonna take care of that. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. We need to get our groves back, too. I will do what I must to preserve House mm -hmm. Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you. I, I just... It's all right. No, it's good. This is I know you this still is my time role. To he's heal, firstborn, but be fine, he's been prepared die. for this all his life. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now. No, nope, I gotta get out there, put on a brave face. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready, well, I want to be there then. Oh, I'm ready. Go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find well, out. One way or another, we'll get there. <sighs> I missed you, um, brother. But you could help me, you know, that would be nice. You can do this, Roderick. She didn't tell about Ryan. That's an important detail, too, Talia. I know you can. I guess it is important for him to try and do it on his own. It'd be nice for her to help, but we gotta be strong. We're the Lord now. All right. Okay, and this seems like a good place to go ahead and wind down the episode. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We're going to go to the council meeting. We're going to start getting things in order. We've got to come up with a plan to get these White Hill soldiers out of Iron Wrath to get our trees back. We've got to kill... Well, we've got to kill Ramsay Snow, but I don't know if the game will actually let us because he's a pretty important character overall like in the books and the TV series. But we've got to get some kind of revenge. And we've got to kill... Lord.